did Kenneth Copeland ever say, I killed Nut, while Simone Hilton, to Simone Hilton while you were in there? Can you ask the question again? Did Kenneth Copeland ever say to Simone Hilton, I killed Nut? No. Did Kenneth Copeland ever say to Simone Hilton, I killed Donovan Thomas? No. Did Kenneth Copeland ever say that he killed anybody to Simone Hilton? No. Did he say any of those three things in Simone Hilton's presence in hearing to your knowledge? Can I answer that with a non yes or no question, Joe? With a what? With an explanation, because he didn't say yes or he did not say I killed, but he said you cannot tell me what I did or did not. Do. Okay, that's that's the extent that he said. Yes. Okay. When you spoke about someone asking the sheriff to turn off their body cameras, was that Ms. Hilton? Did you say Ms. Hilton told the sheriffs to turn off their body cameras? Did I hear that wrong? You, you heard that, that absolutely wrong. Please tell me who it was. I clearly said, said Deputy Brown. Thank you. I, um, mm -hmm. Thank you for clearing that. You're welcome. Do you recall what was being talked about when Deputy Brown told the sheriff's deputies to turn off their body cameras? Nothing. That was the first thing that he said when he walked in the room. And at that point, was Ms. Hilton, you, Mr. Copeland, judge, court reporter, and DA's office investigators all present in the room? I don't remember who was in the room. It may, it may have just been me. So it may have just been you when Deputy Brown said to the Sheriff's deputies, turn off your cameras. I don't remember exactly who was sitting in the courtroom, but that's I mean, in, the chambers. in the chambers. But that's possible. It is possible. Uh, it's possible. It might have been when you and Mr. Copeland were just in there together. It wasn't. I well, Mr. Copeland had to have been in there, right? Because you said the deputies didn't show up until Mr. Copeland arrived. No, what I'm saying, Judge, is that was the order as he walked in. Right. But what did you say might have just happened when it was just you? Nothing. I was saying if I may have been the only one sitting there. I can't remember, but it, there wasn't like, oh, step out. It's as soon as they walked in, this is what was said as Mr. Copeland was walking in. And was there, was there any, um, did you request at that point that they brought him in to have a private meeting with your client at the time? At that moment, I hadn't requested anything. Is it safe to say you don't know why they were told to turn off the body on him? That is correct. Okay. Did you ever hear any from one from the state ask the deputies to have those body on cameras turned off? No. You testified earlier that Mr. Copeland said something akin to, I can, I can claim all of this. Did I hear you right? Yes. Okay. And who was he talking to? And Simone. Okay. And did you know, or did he ever make clear what all of this was that he was talking about? I believe he was referring to everything that... Wait, that's not the question. It wasn't what do you think he meant. It was, did he ever make clear? He said everything in this case. He said the words everything in this case? I don't know if those were his words verbatim, but that's what he said. Was the court reporter there when that happened? I don't know. This was an off the record conversation. Okay, so it was an off the record. So when he's, what about his words? What words did he say that makes you now say that's what he said if you don't remember exactly how he put it? I said, I don't remember his words verbatim. Right. But I was there and he said, I can claim all of this. I can take all of this. That, I mean, 
that's what we were talking about. We were talking about this case. Okay. Is that, is what you just testified to, the extent of the words that Mr. Copeland spoke regarding claiming something? Can you repeat the question? Yes, ma'am. It's what you just testified about, the extent of the words Mr. Copeland spoke about claiming something. I don't, I, I don't want to say that is a complete lead to the extent because he said it over and over. He said it various ways. He changed the way he said it. Do you recall what specifically was being discussed at each of the points that he said that? Specifically. Ever ruled. Specifically, not generally, not broadly. Specifically, what was being discussed at each of the points where he said, I can claim all of this. The whole conversation was about Donovan Thomas's unaliving. Are you aware, are you familiar with any of the shootings that occurred after Donovan Thomas was killed? No. Okay. Are you aware or are you familiar with any allegations about any retaliatory events that occurred that the state considers a part of the Donovan Thomas shooting? No. At what point, what was being asked of Mr. Copeland when he made the statement that you testified it's not just about me knowing that. It's about who was in the infinity. At what was being asked of him when he said something like that? Nothing was being asked of him. Okay. Did he just sort of blurt it out on his own? Yes. Okay. And what he said was, I know something about that infinity that y'all don't know. And it got something to do with somebody who's not even on the case. Okay. Did he ever make clear what it was that he knew? Yeah. To Ms. Hilton in your presence. He wasn't given the opportunity to. But, but what do you mean? She continued to talk about what she was talking about. Okay. Did she ever uh, tell him, don't, don't talk to me about that? No. Did, he, did you ever hear him sort of interrupt her at any other time? At any time? The whole conversation was them interrupting each other. Okay. So did he ever interrupt her to give her more information or to tell her what it was about the affinity that he knew? No. Okay. Um, when you said, Adrian said, Judge, close your ears. Did you mean to say Adrian said, Judge, close your ears? You? Yeah. Yeah, you. Okay. At what point are you alleging, are you saying, do your memory, does your memory tell you that I told the judge to close his ears? I don't really remember exactly what was saying. I don't know if it was you and Simone in there, but something about, um, we were having a conversation me, you, and Ms. Hilton were having a conversation about, I don't remember what we were talking about. And you said it, and then you said, Judge, close your ears. And what did I say after I said, Judge, close your ears? I don't remember. All right, so then it's now your recollection that there was a point in time when you, Ms. Love, Ms. Hilton, and the judge were in there and Ms. Love was talking. Judge, I've said that she never talked while Mr. Colton was in the room. Okay, and you don't even remember really whether she was in there or not when Mr. Copeland was in the room. If she was, she missed love. It was very brief, but no. Okay, but you you said before I thought that there was maybe a two minute time when you, Miss Hilton, 
and Miss Love were in a room together. Yes, that's what I'm referring to. Okay, so that was in front of also Judge Glanville? Because you just said it was, so I'm well, trying to get clarity. Here's the clarity. He wasn't at the table with us as normal. He was turned around on his computer, but still inside of his office. Okay. So was when did this occur during I, so you we we have the beginning of the ex parte being Miss Love all of y'all are standing outside in the ante room and Miss Love says Judge, can we talk to you for a minute or something to that effect? And then who all gets up and goes into Judge Glanville's chambers? Simone has left to go to do something at that point. So it's just me and Adrian Love. Okay. And and who else? And the court reporter. And she says her I mean, maybe her investigator. I can't remember. Okay. And so the three of you talk for some amount of time, yes. the three of you being Miss Bumpus, you, Miss Love, and Judge Glanville. Yes. All right. And then when is, tell me when that changes and it becomes more or fewer of you in that room. The first person to join us is Simone when she comes back from court. Okay. And is that at the same time that Mr. or essentially the same time that Mr. Copeland also joins you? Maybe within a, a minute or so. They don't okay. come in like at the end. Okay. Back. So they come in to essentially together. And where's Miss Love at that point? She, uh, she leaves when Miss Hilton comes, but she does stay for, like I said, there's a brief conversation with me, Miss Hilton and the judge. Uh, and the judge? Well, in the, in the judge's chambers, the judge is okay. not. With you, Miss Hilton, Miss Love, but it's not a part of the proceedings yet because the judge didn't even pay attention. He's over there working on his computer. Yes. What do y'all say at that point in time? I, I don't remember what the conversation was. Anything of substance? It was about maybe plea deals. I remember she said to me. She who? Adrian Love. I remember okay. she says, you know, which I, I can't forget this. Is I don't know who's worse, you or Jacoby. What? That's, that was the thing. That was the nature of the conversation. I say that again. She said, she tells me she doesn't know who's worse, me or Jacoby. Me or Jacoby? Yeah. Jacoby Hudson? Yes. What does that have to do with anything? I don't know. It has nothing to do with this case. No, that's what we're talking about. You asked me what we were talking okay, about. Okay. So something that had nothing to do with this case. And then something comes up about, I don't know if it's plea deals. I don't know. It was something about this case where she says, judge, close your ears. Okay. So this is before y'all kind of gone back on the record. The judge didn't pay attention anyway. He's in the room, but he's over at his computer. Y'all are over at his conference table. Is that what your recollection is? Yes, y'all are talking about entirely other things. And then Miss... I wouldn't you, say entirely other things, but we're not talking about the, the Mr. Copeland. Or, or the case. If you're talking about Jacoby Hudson, you're not talking about the no, case. No, we're talking about the case. She's talking about, I guess she's talking about the, the reference to me hugging people. I don't know. But we were talking about the case. Okay. Anyway. And then at some point, Miss Love, to your recollection, says, Judge, close your ears because she wants to talk to you about a plea deal. I don't know exactly what, I don't remember exactly what she was talking about, but it was something pertaining to the case. And a, but, okay, she but doesn't want to talk to me about a plea deal because I'm not a defendant. Right, that wouldn't have made any sense. But she was, we were, she was discussing something pertaining to the case, and she says, "Oop, judge, close your ears." And how long does that conversation go on? Mm, like two, two or that's the two minutes I'm talking about. Okay, and then what happens to Miss Love? She leaves. She leaves, and then when do y'all go back on the record? Immediately. Okay. Well, no, I talked to Mr. Copeland for a second. Okay. Privately or? Okay. And then y'all go back on the record. And then does the record reflect everything the record reflects accurately? Other than whenever this conversation between you, Ms. Hilton, and Mr. Copeland allegedly occurred? Yes. Okay. Can you, do you have a copy of the transcript in front of you at this point? Yes, sir. Can you kind of 
point out where this conversation allegedly occurs? It's somewhere around page 40. Okay. Between 39 and 40. Okay. Your Honor, could I just get, um, if it's between 39 and 40, are there any specific lines? Well, it was like off the record, so I wouldn't know exactly which line it starts back at. Okay, but you, you, you had represented previously that Judge Glanville had, was not in the room at that point in time. Yes, he was asked to leave. Okay. So the him being asked to leave isn't reflected. Is that right? Let's see. Okay. Do you remember who asked him to leave? Miss Hilton. Okay. And that's not on the record either. No. And you can't remember whether the court reporter stayed or left. I can't remember whether she stayed or left, but she definitely stopped taking down. Okay. All right. And when did you, um, sorry, Miss Love, I'll get, okay. go ahead. You know what? Go ahead. I'll save my questions. Your Honor, I, I honestly defer to the court. Please continue. I have no problem. All right. Um, so after this conversation concludes, then what happens? And by this conversation, I mean the conversation you referenced that is not reflected in the record, but that takes place between you, Mr. Copeland, and Ms. Hilton. What happens after that? But if it's not in the record, it's not going to be in the record. So you just tell me from your recollection what happens after that. That's probably towards the last five minutes of this meeting. Okay. And so we go back on the record and... So the conversation finishes. How does everybody get back in the room? And how is it that y'all go back on the record? Give me the details of that. She just, uh, we, we just finished the off the record conversation and just Simone just says everybody can come back in. And then. Okay, wait, just, I'm sorry. Mm -hmm. It's actually. Go ahead. I would say that the conversation actually happened around page 46, 45. 40, 45, okay. And is that conversation, in fact, reflected on the record? No, but I don't know. How I mean, because so how are you sorting out? Oh, it's around 45 that it occurs. Because I try to get the conversation on the record. What did you say? To get the conversation or to try to get the conversation on the record. I say, um. I'd, I'd like to hear it from your recollection without reference to the transcript oh, okay. first, okay? So I'm trying to make sure. So, I just, so, so Ms. Hilton says, Judge, can you leave? And at that point, do you say anything like, no, Judge, stay, or anything like that? No, she already told me in the hallway that she was going to ask the judge to leave and have okay. a conversation with him. Okay. So show me where in the transcript... Y'all come back from the restroom break. Well, you want me to, you asked me to. Now I do want you to okay, look at the okay. transcript. Yes. Okay. 
Social Security Okay, I'm sorry. We asked what, okay, I think we came back. Around, no, around. Yeah, the restroom break. Show me the restroom break. See, that's not in here with me getting up. I don't know how to find that. Okay, so the restroom break, y'all take, but it isn't reflected. Yes. Okay. Is the restroom break after Mr. Copeland's with y'all? Yes. Okay. All right. And it's immediately after this restroom break that you and Ms. Hilton and Mr. Copeland have the private conversation? Yes, sir. 